Welcome back to a very normal day on RimWorld. Absolutely nothing at all about to go horribly wrong and about to ruin the base permanently and probably kill most of our colonists. So we've got obviously a major infestation here. Spoilers. Um, let's take a look at this one very briefly and see when our last raid was. So, I mean, war was declared between the, yeah, Rebel Alliance, whatever else. When was the last actual incident we had then? Let's go back to the graph here. So you can see where we turn on Phoebe Chillax was, was around this time here. We had an infestation followed by an enemy raid followed by Manhunter Pack, which actually wasn't too long ago now we now we look at it uh day 210 so actually we've been the best part of like two weeks there without any sort of raid whatsoever it's been 12 days this is gonna hit fucking hard this is gonna hit seriously seriously hard i'm not sure how we want to do this i'm really not sure how the hell we want to deal with this um i guess retreat into this in entrance area spread out as much as possible bait them over and shoot them as they come through these walls my god, this is going to be a big fucking infestation. Look at, what's that, like, one, two, oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Um, so, how about we send someone to bait them out? I'm thinking, what are you, Krupp maybe? What do you think, Krupp? Uh, send Krupp in to go bait them out. All we've got to do is bring them down the corridor and just have these guys light them up. These are still just the base game insects at the end of the day. They haven't got any bonuses, they're not buffed up any, any you know, much beyond what they normally would be. So, let's bash this door down. Just to give him a couple of blocks of running, and then and then absolutely sprint, my friend. My God, get your running shoes on because holy shit, they are they're they're coming. Okay, here we go. Right, hide behind this wall. Oh, they actually didn't come all the way. We have to we have to lighten in this dude, aren't we? All right, uh, just, excuse me. Do you want to come back? Hello. There we go. Oh shit, that woke him up. Run, Krupp. Oh God, Krupp's gonna be ripped apart. Oh, they've they've whipped into a real frenzy here. Oh God, here we go. So it begins. Good luck. Oh, God, Bonnet, please be careful with those fireballs. Oh, my God, this is out of hand already. So, <clears throat> here we go, team. Right, so what I'm thinking is let's go and put some fog wherever the hell we can cast it. It's not going to kill our own people. I think if we drop the fog there, that's going to slow him down if nothing else. That way, we always basically have to focus well on the south side. I think that's safer. And it looks as if the majority of them are going to come through this way anyway. Nice. Okay, the fog's down. Krupp can actually walk into that. It, it only affects undead. And, of course, Krupp is going to be healed up from that fog. Nothing to worry about. Igor is dead. Igor was consumed by pain. How? That was not going to hit Igor. That was not going to hit Igor. I need to go watch that back because I'm, I'm almost certain that was not going to hit Igor. I mean, obviously it fucking did. So, you know, I must have been wrong. But that did not look like on the preview that was going to hit Igor. I would like a refund on that one, please. Great. So we're down to just Jilp and Bonnet now. Everyone else of the original five have been wiped out. How did that hit? I need to, I need to see that back. That seems absolutely absurd. I was right. I was right. Igor is outside the blast radius. So you can quite clearly see. I mean, granted, he does have a larger blast radius because we've upgraded that. I thought this was taking that into account. That's ridiculous that the clouds would expand above the area where it's... All right. I don't think I can be held responsible for that one. I'm calling bullshit on anyone that, that, that thinks that was my fault. That was absolutely not my fault at all. The preview showed that Igor was safe. That is some real bullshit right there. Okay. Whatever. Fine. You know what? We'll roll with it. We've almost got the tech to basically rebuild people anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, kind of annoying, though. That is kind of annoying. So we've just got to remember for the future. Actually, when we cast Bonnets, whatever it was, uh, Fog of Torment, even though it says it's going to land in a particular area, it's much, much larger than that. It's, like, significantly larger than that, and the game is lying to us. Goodbye, Bone Table. I've hardly knew ye. Oh, God. Wilma Fingerdo is about to get... Okay, you're fine. Nothing to worry about. Bonnet's also going with the auto heals there. That's barely even the start of it. They have trashed this fucking base. That's the one thing I hate about infestations. They absolutely trash fucking everything. Crap. Are you a powerful enough man to maybe take this whole thing out by yourself still? That's the real question. He has still got his Sith Lord abilities. And I mean, it should be quite evident there from the way he just annihilated those guys. Let's knock this door down. Let's unleash the next bit of the horde. This is unbelievable, right? Come on then, you fuckers. Let's go. Right, run past. Get their attention. Oh. Or, or not. There we go. Right, run past. Get their attention. No, they're still going to attack. Stop attacking the fucking walls. Get out of there. Right, wake him up. That'll do it. Okay, run, run, run. Crop, 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 run. Okay, run, crop. Thank you. No, no pressure. Right, go, go, go. Please run. All right. Here come the next lot then. Let's be careful. Select an able-bodied preacher. What are you trying to say? Igor is an able-bodied anymore? Right, run, run, run. Don't pepper crop. Okay. This is okay. I think we're good. We're going to survive. Unfortunately, Igor has been lost, which I'm fucking mortified about, especially as the preview said she'd have been safe. That's okay, though. Like I said... Last episode, we basically set up a huge amount of research and a huge amount of progress towards actually being able to resurrect our characters. 
That's what we're going to do this time around. We will bring Igor back, don't worry. She will be free of her undead curse. Unbelievable. Right, okay. Krupp can definitely deal with these last few. Everyone else, I'm going to probably say, like, search and destroy or something. There you go. Search and destroy at range. Go for it. Right, take out the last ones. We'll get Krupp to also destroy every single one of these hives. Otherwise, this is very going to quickly get out of hand unless we, uh, unless we tidy this up quickly. Boom. Nice force line in there. Decent amount of damage, and then you should be able to finish it off. Okay. Well... We've also got a shit ton of uh, shit ton of rebuilding to do. We've lost one, two, three bedrooms there. Um, and, of course, a whole bunch of hives. You know what? Those guys are going to go deal with that. Thank you. Right. We're just sending Krupp to uh, quickly wipe these goddamn things out. Thank you very much. 78 damage. My god, he's still strong. Even in death, he is our most powerful character. That's insane. Now, the rebuild begins. So, all we need is the reconditioning pod. At which point, we can... Basically convert the undead back into real people. We will have to scram their brain, clone them a new body to fully remove the undead influence, and then we can resurrect them. It's kind of confusing, but you're going to have to bear with me, and it might not even work. This is some real cutting-edge RimWorld, uh, RimWorld science might be the best way to phrase it, and that's exactly what we're doing this episode. We're going to try and work out a way to bring these guys back. There is almost certainly a way to do it. you just got to find the right combination, work out, you know, which which one in which order do we need to apply, you know, magic or science or whatever else. Let's get Eagle resurrected for the time being. Welcome back, Eagle. Um, why can't you move? Uh, her brain is rotten. Oh. That doesn't seem good at all, does it? Wait, do all the undead have a rotten brain? No, Eagle's brain has completely rotted away. Okay, um... Is that is that the best we can do then, huh? Is that the best... We oh, she's back. We might be able to heal that anyway, so it's not such a big deal. Right, so we've got to condition the undead out of her and Krupp now. Unbelievable, this is ridiculous. Donitz is on ice in the freezer. We're going to use his body for science to see if there's another way to resurrect them without having to use Bonnet's uh, fairly questionable magic powers. This is unbelievable. Right, so, reconditioning pod. When that's done, we'll immediately build one of those. I believe we need advanced components, which is exactly why last episode I wanted to focus on getting the fabrication bench up. 18 out of 10 advanced components means that we can build it absolutely no problem. They might take up a huge amount of power. So after the reconditioning's done, we can either resurrect them with magic or with science, as we talked about last time. We'll stick with the science for now, because I think the science will work. What we'll do then is we'll have to start adding into a different type of power. What have we got, like, in terms of... We've got, like, nuclear power. We've got rim atomics, which we've already started researching. Um... Now, to my knowledge, we have to carry on the Rim Atomics with the Rim Atomics mod. Nuclear Reactor Research. This sounds very good. Okay. Train and research these technologies using a nuclear reactor. Fine. Let's purchase that. It's 550, I assume, silver, which we can afford. Start project, and I believe we have to use these things for it. Um, and it doesn't like... No, it doesn't add it onto the list here, so I believe we have to use the research, this research table here. For the time being, um, let's stop the project. Let's deal with the... So what have we got to do here? Uh, research reactor technology. Sure, seven intellectual. We then have to build a research reactor. We then have to research and train how to use the reactor. Okay, cool. This is going to get very confusing. I've never used this mod before. It sounds very, very complex. Okay, fine. Um, or a little more complex than... It's more like a mission system, you know? It, it seems more like a, a quest-style RPG approach to things, rather than just the research tree, which is this one, and then this research, and then this research. Seems like you have to test out and do various... Like, actual science, you know? Who's got the extreme break risk? Newt. And Newt, are you alright, my friend? Just cowering in fear? Why? Do you actually want to, like, go and do something with your goddamn life? Alright, well, we are slowly rebuilding here. The bedrooms need, obviously, a lot of work. We've got a lot of cleaning stuff to do, but we've rebuilt sort of, like, things that were lost there. The bone table, crap like that. My god, this is garbage, isn't it? This is this is a horrible base to look at right now. Hey, but at least the solar panel network is done, so we shouldn't run out of power for quite some time there. It's a real shame that we've only really... I mean, now that we've got rid of all the undead, the grunt work jobs, like hauling, like cleaning, that type of thing, repairing as well. Gonna take a lot longer, because we've actually got skilled, you know, living people that we can't just have work 24-7. We're actually playing a proper, almost balanced remote experience at this stage, huh? Right, um, so, how are we doing in regards to the crypto sleep caskets? Oh, sorry, the, the reconditioning pod. 3,800 still. This is an expensive research. Might take longer than I expected. Um, one patient needs a medical operation. That's Ape. Ape was still, you know, yanking all of his different parts off to, to transplant into people. We've got extreme brightness times two, so rednecks and Newt. Why are you sleeping in here? What the fuck is wrong with you people? Can we get an actual... Oh, because their bedrooms are probably burned down, huh? Um, you know what? In hindsight, that's fair. So, things aren't being built because Jilp is our best colonist and we have quality builder enabled. Um, so, I guess we'll set Jilp to actually start constructing. Let's get him to quickly build up these bedrooms as soon as possible, to be honest with you. Otherwise, this is going to take some serious amount of time if we just sit here waiting for him to uh, finish his other jobs first. Right, there we go. I'll take that. What did that table rebuild? Excuse me. Can I have the, can I have the table back? 
All right. We should rebuild in no time. Then I might actually increase the cleaning priority for everyone as well. Because as you can see, this place is an absolute ship tip. And it looks kind of awful right now. How's the power come along as well, by the way? Let's just quickly check that. Oh, God. Why is it so slow? Ah! Um, battery, 126 watts. Uh, grid excess of... Okay, that's pretty good. Hey, that's, that's really good. Wow. Power is coming online. We should be able to store a ridiculous amount of power and shouldn't really have much to uh, much to worry about in that regard. We can basically turn all of our machines on for the first time in basically forever. Oh, thank God. That took a very, very long time. The base, still not perfect, I'll admit. They've rebuilt everything. They've got everything repaired. They're just doing the last little bit of cleaning here, and then we should be back to where we were before that horrible infestation. Reconditioning pod at long last is finished, and so now we can rebuild the minds of our fallen colonists. I guess that would be, like, Misk, I would assume. There it is. Wow, what do we need for that, then? Oh, my God. It's, what the fuck is a Zombrella Industries humanoid? I have no idea. Reconditioning pod. 180 steel, 40 plast steel, 10 components, 5 advanced components. It's expensive. It's horribly expensive. It's super, super expensive, but it's necessary. Like, it, it will bring them back to life as far as I'm concerned. So let's build a couple of those. I believe it also takes some time. That's going to be, what, 10 components? We're looking at nearly 400 steel, 80 plast steel. This is expensive shit. Let's build the one at a time. Before we commit to the second one, let's make sure the first one works. Now, the issue with the reconditioning pods, and the reason why I would need a more permanent thing, which is why we're also going to clone them after the fact, is that the... Oh, you know what? Let's, let's build this first. That's This is step one. This is step two. The reason we're going to clone them afterwards is the reconditioning pod is only temporary, so Bonnet's undead sort of resurrection spell on them is only going to be temporarily removed via the reconditioning pod. So after that, we need to clone them a whole new body, scan their brains after Bonnet's influence have been removed from it, then with that brain scan, combine that with a new clone, and then old one can be disposed of. That way we're essentially transferring their consciousness over to a new clone. This should work. This should absolutely work. And if it does work, this is some weird remote science using about... We're using about four or five different mods here to bring people back to life. So it could be fairly, fairly balanced as well, you know? Wilma Fingerdoo, finally building, and we are ready. Okay, so then, reconditioning mod, here we go. Let's get crop. You are, you are the volunteer. Crop, you have waited the longest to be resurrected. Let's do it, my friend. Remove undead. This procedure will recondition Crop to forget that he is undead. It will remove that influence of Bonnet over the top of him. It needs to be refreshed every four days, and it is going to take one day for this conditioning to work, and it's a 90% success rate. That's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Remove undead. We can also add new traits, which is fairly interesting as well. So we could maybe turn him into... I mean, what would we even want to turn him back into at that point, huh? Um, great memory. Uh, we want, we want like, a learning skill so we can start rebuilding his skill set that he's lost since he's been undead. Since, he, since he's not been able to... Uh, maybe, like, hard worker, work speed. Industrious is also very good. What one affects their learning speed? It is just, like, good learner or something like that, right? Um, let me see if I can find it here. There it is. Fast learner. Can we add that one? Uh, well, we can, okay, we can't do that. So you have to, yeah, that's a shame. Having more will still apply the trait, but of course I'm not sure on the UI. So we'll, I think we should, rem we can only do one at a time anyway. Remove undead first, except, and he's in. Crop, head of Sith, is reconditioning. We are removing the spell Bonnet Bigley has on him. I'm hoping this doesn't just kill him dead. Otherwise, that would suck a lot. Then we start the cloning. So, and there's a bulk goods trader, so this could be very, very useful because we need steel, silver. What is that? We need 75 plastic and three advanced components. How many advanced components we got right now? Um, 13. Yeah, of course, because we didn't build the other one yet. Right then, so we need to build this, and then on this we need to make like a brain scanner. Genome sequencer. Oh, there it is. Brain scanner. Right, we need to make one of those as well. So let's move that to top priority. That's going to allow us to scan Crop's brain after we've moved the undead influence. Then we need to make a new body for him, free of the undead rot. Combine the brain scanner with the new clone, and Crop is back, and it's, and it just back to being, you know, the crop we know and love, without Bonnet's filthy, filthy undead influence over him. As for zombie crop at that stage, we could just dispose of him. I think we probably should dispose of him, because he's been through a lot. So it won't be original crop, but it will be original crop. It will be an exact copy of original crop. It won't, it will just be in a, in a new body, in a new consciousness. So technically the original crop is, will, will die, uh, and new crop will take his place, but it is still you know, it's still crap, but not crap. You, you get what I'm saying here. Right, this cloning map. It will take a while to build the new clone for crap, and it also uses a lot of power, which is why I want to start work on this as soon as possible, because I don't believe we have enough power to run this yet. Or, while we're waiting for the clone to build, we stick old crap in a containment pod in the bioreactor. That's not a bad idea, I think. Um, actually, that's a really good idea. I like that. We can have him floating in this pod as his clone is being produced. Now, the clones are kind of annoying to build. They require a lot of maintenance from both a doctor and a researcher. Someone capable of, you know, you have to coordinate that as well. 
Do we have a good researcher? Um, okay, so we've got... Okay, Jeff is insane. Renax is currently catatonic. That's my only concern about starting now. And then we've got a good doctor as well, I assume. We kind of do. So we'll set you to maintain that. It's used medical and intellectual. So this is also, you know, 7.5 there because I imagine it's halfway between their surgeon and their, their intellectual skill is unfortunately garbage here. Right, and what about our top researcher? You also need to maintain that. So Jeff and Amber Namba Damba are going to oversee the reconstruction of crop here. This is kind of crazy. We're basically doing what Darth Sidious did in the uh, in the original expanded universe when he cloned himself and then transferred his mind over when his body was was destroyed. This is cool. I like it. How are we looking here? Let's buy a bit more steel and plastic from that orbital trader before they piss off as well. Who's got our higher social now? Because Igor is obviously, you know, uh, a rotten zombie as well. Jeff, my good friend Jeff, let's get on the trader. Call that bulk goods trader. Where are you, Jeff? Mining in a quarry. What the fuck? Get on the get on the get on the blower. Right. Okay. We don't want to buy Yorkshire Terriers. We will sell you some unfertilized duck heads. We'll sell you some painting supplies as well. It's not too interested in that. Buy your advanced components. Absolutely. 22. Oh, wait. I'm looking at the wrong one. Right. We want to buy that one. That's more like it. I was going to say 22 advanced components for like 500. It's not right at all. Um, cool. Let's sell them all of these garbage walls that we're never, ever going to use unless it's, you know, Devil Strand or maybe Synthread. I think we could use Synthread. Let's keep that one. Um, not really interested in anything else, though. We will keep the Devil Strand and we will keep the Hyperweave. Because that's obviously, you know, one of the best ones you can get. Sell the rest of this trash, though. Not interested in the rest. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is formless matter? Um, we've got 500 of the things. Formless matter robes sound incredible. So we're going to keep those as well. Right, get rid of all this absolute garbage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My god, this is going to make us a fortune. We've got a fortune in leather. This is so cool. Guinea pig fur as well. Buy the medicine. Medicine is hugely important because we've got a lot of medical-based things we're trying to do here. Buy the steel. That's also very, very useful here. We don't need imperial credits. We're never going to use them, so sell those off. Buy their plast steel as well. Ooh, that's expensive, but I think it will be worth it. Trust me on that one. Um, sell all these. Can we sell all these cartridges? Oh, God. They cannot afford it. All these cartridges, by the way, that we picked up during that first trade caravan we attacked. They've kept this colony going forever. <laughs> and that's not... Ooh, there it is. Oh, it was a mask to a god. Remember when we saw that, that, that vampire or werewolf last episode, and I was like, what the hell is that? It's just a mask of a god. Right, that makes sense. Um, they can't afford this. We'll buy their 420 gold or their 200 gold. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep a few copies of, like, Begetris and more bloody garbage for our stockpile here. Fine, you know what? Just, just keep it. It's basically our gold standard, except it's old game cartridges. Okay, cool. I'm fine with that. We're getting 13,000 credits. We're getting a lot of natural resources, too. Thank you. Right next to our stockpile is very convenient. I'm happy with that. 13,000 silver, lots of plastic, lots of more components as well. That's working out pretty well. The quarry is working fine. We're getting a decent amount of raw resources out of that also. Mainly because people just don't have any jobs right now while we're waiting on uh, waiting on this shit to be built. And I'm glad I bought that in hindsight because apparently we didn't have enough. All right, Jilp, get this clone that built. Let us rebuild Krupp. How long until he's done reconditioning? He is about two-thirds of the way there. Mana drain. Shit. Uh, can he keep these... Because he's sustaining only Igor and Krupp now, right? Oh, and he's also sustaining Wilma Finger doing Vagaga, which is literally just in, in the bioreactor. Uh, what's your mana? Oh, God. 0 0.72. Oh, my God. Um, that could be a real problem. That could be a genuine... Look at how fast his mana's draining. Oh, God. We're going to lose... I think we've got to... Oh, I think we've got to get rid of Wilma Finger do. Otherwise, if Igor and Krupp disappears, they are gone permanently. Like, they just disintegrate to dust, and then we will never see them again. So, Bonnet, uh, this is this is for the colony. Get rid of him. Blast him. Uh, what do you want to do? Dismiss undead. Goodbye, Wilma. Nice knowing you. And then eat Wilma for her power. Yes, good. Right, how are we looking now? Oh, Jesus. A servant calls to you from nearby. Uh, she is being chased by pirates from the cohorts of injury. She's 45 years old. We will have to fight one boss, two mercenary slashers, one mercenary slasher, one mercenary slasher, one mercenary slasher, one mercenary slasher, 15 other mercenary slashers, one scavenger thrasher, and five scavenger thrashers. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 22, 23, plus 28. We've got to fight 28 people for this one 45-year-old servant. It's going to be a no from me, Chief. We're literally in the middle of rebuilding our Sith Lord. That's not going to happen. Bonnet, how's the mana going? Oh, shit. Have we got any mana potions? We might just have to have Bonnet chug mana potions. I don't even think we've got any. No, I don't think we do. Oh, God. Are they in the freezer, maybe? This could be a real concern. I don't want to panic anyone, but we might lose Igor and Krupp permanently. Um, okay, let's pray that this mana drain gets to fuck pretty quickly. We might also have to disintegrate Vagaga. That's output in 1,200 watts. What's our grid excess right now? Minus 1,500. That's because our solar panels are off, to be fair. Um, you're also going to have to go. Uh, let's run Histiolysis. That should disintegrate them. 
However, I'm not sure whether that will work with Bonnet. Let's get Bonnet to disintegrate, and that way, that way we know it's working, right? Bonnet, crack open the cold one with the boys. Uh, excuse me, let's open you up, and then you get, uh, just fucking just lit. Goodbye. Okay, and then we'll also consume you as well for the mana. So we can consume corpses for mana. We probably want to wait then until his mana drains a little bit more. We might have to go stand him out in a field, just eating corpses. As weird as it sounds, it might be the only way. Oh god, that didn't even give him the full, the full lot. Oh god, um, what are we up to? Minus, oh shit, uh, yeah, let's just go crank some points into spirit a bit more. That increases its maximum mana. 243, let's go eat some corpses, my man. Have we got any in the, oh, oh god, what if we, can we eat undead corpses after we human corpses? Um, because human corpses are undead. What if we resurrect them first, then can we eat them? That doesn't seem like it's very helpful. Um, oh, look at this. Yes, there's a whole bunch of corpses. I think I'm going to have to micromanage Bonnet and just stand him in a field and eat a whole bunch of people for ages. This could be ridiculous, but it might be the only way to save Bonnet and Krupp. Krupp has completed their reconditioning. <gasps> He's free of Bonnet. He's, He's free of Bonnet. He's still undead, though. Shit. Okay. He's still undead. So we need to clone him so that he gets rid of that undead. Now we need to scan his brain. Yeah, Psychopath Sith, Sith Master. He's free of Bonnet's influence, but his it will slowly creep back in. And we need to finish off this brain scanner. Um, who's our head crafter then? Let's take a look. We've got, uh, excuse me, we've got Amber Damba Damba. If you could do me a favor, finish this one off as soon as possible. We will scan Krupp's brain, which I believe is an operation. We need to do this so fast. We need to do this so fucking fast. Ah, oh, God. How is that looking? Okay, 20, 20, 20 left. Right, Bonnet, you need some more corpses, my friend. 172. Right, consume corpse. All right, let's see if it works on animals. It does. That's good. Barely give him anything, though. Oh, God. Okay, eat, eat, a, eat a people. Eat this one. Oh, it's not giving him much at all, is it? Let's just quickly get him maxed out again. Um, okay, pause and eat. And then pause and eat. This is a good way to get rid of corpses, if nothing else. Though. We don't need a graveyard when we can just have Bonnet eating people's flesh. Good work. No, no, I mean, just, I guess, consuming their soul sort of Shang Tsung style rather than rather than actually physically getting down on his hands and knees and eating them whole. Okay, 223. That should be good for a while while we go back and micromanage the brain scanning aspect of things. It's done. Okay. Now, one of them is a surgery. One of them you pick up and you blast them with that. Um, right, so I think, Jilp, you can be in charge of this. Pick up the brain scanner. And then, how do we do it? How the fuck do we do it? How the fuck do we do it? Uh, do we, do we drop it? Uh, where is it? Gear, gear, gear. I thought you... He's got loads of enchanted gear. My god, why is it in your inventory? Um, right then. So, what do we do with that? I think, I think it has to be a, Okay, so get that hauled then. Maybe it has to be, it has to be a surgery. Um, right, so let's go to this one. Let's go brain scanner. Where is it? Brain scan... Scanner. There it is. Allow it there. Let's get it hauled into the stockpile. That might add a bill to allow us to scan Krupp's brain. Health. Uh, no, don't sedate him. Fuck me. Scan? Uh, brain? Oh, good God. Okay, add bill. Let's see what we got here. Scan brain. There it is. Okay, cool. Get to a medical bed. Let's get you scanned as soon as possible. Who's our doctor? Um, please don't tell me it's Billy. Amber Namba. Oh, it is. You're good at everything. Amber Namba Damba is so good at everything. And which, which magician are you? You're the entertainer. You are the entertainer. That's so good. Oh my God, 16 points available? I think we need to spend these points as well in a second. But, okay. Prioritize scanning. Scan his brain. Scan his brain. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. My god, this is going to be massive if it works. Uh, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. <gasps> Kropfush brain scan. There it is. Oh my god, there it is. He's gone. Okay then. Fine. We're good. And then we... How do we clone him then? Uh, we, we go start growing. No available genomes. Get them by genome sequences. So we still need to sequence his genome as well as scan his brain. Fine. Okay, then. I'm learning. Right, so, uh, Amadam, Amadam, you're also our head crafter. Get back to this, then. My god, this is, uh, this is getting completely out of hand. Put this safe. Put this so safe. Uh, what was that going to be called? Like, genome template or something like that? Uh, brain scan template. Put it in the freezer. Make sure you never, ever lose that. And then we also want the genome sequence template. Put that carefully in the freezer as well. All right, genome sequencer is finished. I'm keeping bonnet topped up, so we still we're still at 220, and that mana drain still going on. Ah, god. All right, okay, back to crop then. Crop, you need to health, and then we need to add bill sequence genome. Get to bed right now. 
Okay, where's the genome sequencer? So right there. Then we get Amber, Amber, Pamba. There you go. And then prioritize operating. Sequence that genome. Put it in the freezer. Put put that shit in the freezer. Also help me. Boom. So we've got crop Voosh genome sequence. Crop Voosh brain scan template. Okay. Psychopath Sith Sith Master. That's what we're after. Start growing. Crop. So we now need protein mash times 125 and nutrient solution times 500. All right. Now, how do we make those? I believe it's at a refinery. Um, and what, what does it we need? 125 protein mash, 500 nutrient. 125 protein mash. And then 500 nutrients. So, don't we've got 125. That way, we can also keep some around just in case we need to clone anyone. Oh, we need to clone Igor anyway. So, that'll immediately start in the next batch as well. And then, we also need, what is it? 500 nutrients. So, do until X. Sorry, do until X. And let's just quickly cramp that up. Let me just do... Oh, way too much. Sorry, my mistake. 500. Right, there we go. Uh, Cool. And then, don't ever pause. Yeah? Because that way, they'll immediately start work on the next batch ready for Igor. Fine. Turn that shit back on. Let's get to refining. So I'm going to take refine and I'm going to max that one out. Whoever can refine, you better be refining as soon as possible. This is important stuff. Crop is on it. Crop is on it already. He's, he's very eager to get his new body built. This is fantastic. Now that stuff doesn't have to go in storage. No, it doesn't. Okay, they can literally just trip that on the floor and we got nothing to worry about there. So they should be taking that over to the cloning vat, stocking it up. This is good. Filling for human. We need 50 more protein mash, 500 nutrient solution. His genome template is already put in there. This is cool. This is actually going to work. I love it. Ooh, a prosthesis trader is pretty massive. So who is our... I just don't remember. Jeff. Jeff, you are our best trader. Let's go and talk to the prosthesis trader and actually see what they've got for us right now. Okay, then. So we have a whole bunch of uh, mage spells here. We've got lightning trap. Oh my god, look at all these. Oh, this is good. Okay, then. Advanced Bionic Arm, 6,300. Give me... What's a Bionic... Uh, what does Power Claw do? Sorry. Gives armor penetration, so it's just three... Uh, Wolverine Claws, basically. Not interested in that one too much. Uh, bionic Ham, what's Silent Jaw Implant? Um, voice Modulator, useful for abrasive patients. You can actually get rid of their voice box. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Um... Some prosthetic arms. So a lot of this is actually kind of pointless. They've got a lot of garbage. The only thing that's really interesting here is the advanced bar to come. 6,300 silver for that. I think we'll give that to Krupp whenever he's rebuilt. And I'm going to buy all of your medicine too. Because this is this is super important. Um, everything else we don't need. Barnic Hand. Could be useful. I guess we might as well buy one. Barnic Jaw. We've already got that. Silent Jaw is kind of something for prisoners. Um, Power Claw. Give it to Bonnet. Now Bonnet has high melee attack. That might not be such a bad idea. I'm, I'm going to... Oh, man. It's 4,000. My God. And what's the damage on it again? Sorry. 27% uh, armor penetration. 9 melee damage per second is pretty decent. 27% um, armor penetration is pretty good as well. Fuck it. Why not? We've got the gold for it. Let's buy it. Why Why the hell not? All right. The mana drain has ended very luckily. That's a big relief because it means we don't need to worry about Krupp or Igor disintegrating. We might have actually been able to keep Vigaga as well. Now my major concern is that if the clone vat loses power while we're cloning someone, we will lose the clone. It's not a big deal. It's not like we can't, you know, sequence his, his genome again. In fact, I might even do that just as a backup. Um, probably not a terrible idea. So where is that? Genome, genome sequence is right there. It's one, one component 35 steel. So in fact, I might just do until you have X and then just do until we've got like two of each. Do you think that's a, I think that's a pretty safe idea. That way we'll always keep a copy, just in case this clone fails, just in case Krupp disappears in a puff of smoke. Maybe we get a really severe mana drain, maybe Bonnet uses all of his mana, then we're hit by a mana drain suddenly and, and he disappears. We've always got a copy of him. We need a master copy in the freezer at all times, so that if anything does happen, if they do suddenly drop down dead, if they die horribly, they'll be fine. We can resurrect them, it's not a problem. This is okay. 375 left, and then we are good to rebuild our Sith Lord. Holy shit. So I've turned off all the lights in the base because the cloning vat is using that much power. Jeff is currently working on the rim atomics based research, researching the reactor technology within it to build the reactor and then train them to use the reactor as well. This will hopefully give us a decent amount of energy. I've no idea in regards to rim atomics how this works. Seems to be pretty quick, but if you divert your eyes to the cloning vat, if we zoom in here, you see that? It begins. It's starting. Cleanless ma clean cleanliness maintenance multiply gives it a little bonus there to the actual growth speed. 21.9 days remaining. I didn't know that cleanliness actually gave a bonus to it. So what I might want to do is, is with the crazy amount of silver that we've got, I think we've got like 13,000 silver, quickly research uh, sterile tiles and basically coat the floor in those and try and make this place just as cleanly as possible. 
it's going to take a very long time. 21.9 days. If we get a power outage, if we get a solar flare, if we don't keep the maintenance up, if our scientist or our doctor goes catatonic or something like that, this clone is going to fail. We have the second genome sequencer ready to scan Crop's brain again, just in case there are any issues with this cloning. My God, this is it. And it is going to take a serious amount of time, but here we go. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in 21.8 days. Now, that's Joe. We'll be back tomorrow for some more RimWorld. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons who've made this whole unethical cloning process possible in the first place. A big thank you to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Sadini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Fukuno Vasquez, Fluffernutter, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kevin Carter, Michael Mullen, Mr. Smoke, Muskratful, Nathan Flores, Necrofin, and Pelvis Presley, Skaz, Shayuch Sinclair, Sirthor the Swede, Stannis the Manis, The Forsaken One, Toby Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, and Vacuous Backers. Thank you. For your support of the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thanks for making the channel possible in the first place. Without you guys, we wouldn't even be here. And, of course, a thank you has to go out as well to Asaro, Adam Person, Akari, Andrew Wilson, Ben Trope, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 2 and 7, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gray, Haji Damar, Hancock, I see the Great, Irish, Israel, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Jason, Jose, Euron DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Lemon Stark, Lasmi, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, The Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wolfie, Yorkus, Zach Piller, and Zico2. Thank you guys. See you all tomorrow. This is going to be a long process. Why can I see that this is not going to be this simple?